adding a hatch. Let's go ahead and learn a little bit about hatching. First, let's create some simple geometry so we can hatch it. I'll go ahead and select the circle and select the rectangle. And then down here, I'll create another circle and an overlapping circle as well. Okay, so how do we hatch? You can find the hatch command here in the draw panel. It is this icon in the bottom right corner. If you pull it down, we have hatch, gradient, and boundary. Let's just explore the hatch for now. I'll go ahead and select that. And now this pops up within the ribbon, the hatch creation. We can set boundaries, select the pattern, adjust properties, change the origin, as well as other options. For now, we have the pick internal point selected, which is here. I'll go ahead and pick a point here, 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 or even here, and here. But as you see, as I hover over these objects, it's already giving me a preview of my hatch. So let's place one here, and one right there. As you can see, by default, AutoCAD already allows me to continue placing hatches wherever I need them to be. Now, if I pan over a little bit, zoom in, move my mouse wheel out, put it back in, I no longer get a preview of my hatch pattern. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out one more time, bring my mouse outside the shape, and put it back inside. And now I have the, the preview of the pattern. AutoCAD will only give you a preview if the entire shape that you want enclosed is within view. So if you zoom in too much into your shape, and some of the bounding lines aren't in view, you won't get a preview of your hatch. I'll go ahead and zoom out, pan over a bit to put all this back into view, and I'll go ahead and close this. And I have my two hatch patterns. I can select it, and my hatch editor appears. I can go ahead and continue to make adjustments if needed. I'll go ahead and close it. I'll select hatch one more time. And now I'll go ahead and try and create another hatch. But this time, I'm going to change the hatch pattern. I'll go ahead and select this. And I'll change it to ANSI 37. Hover over here. And I'll go ahead and select that as well. Now, you also have more properties to change. But we'll discuss this in a later tutorial. But let's try this one more time. I'll close it. Activate the hatch. I'll change the hatch pattern to maybe a solid this time. And I'll go ahead and select that as my shape and that as my shape. And there you go. I've added hatching to my design. I'll go ahead and close out. 